Yes, indeed. Yo, what's going on, y'all? That you're rocking with the No Compromise Crew. I'm your boy Dave, aka G1, aka Dafferty, and we are rocking with my OG, my OG, not yours, but mine, my boy Ferg, my boy yeah. Ferg, straight, <laughs> my boy Ferg, straight out of the same jacks that we out of, man. I'm out of Bronxville, man. You know what I'm saying? The X, man, and um. Yo, Fur, yo, just let, just, just introduce yourself. Let the folks know, man, who you are, where you from, how you do. Yo, man, listen, man, my name is Ferg, man. I'm from the hood, where the Dave from, man. We from the same place, the same block. We got the same blood. We just, like, just, we just connected so much. It's just crazy. I can't even, I can't even go into the history because we might not even have enough time for that. You know that. <laughs> 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 yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yo, first, so check this out. So we talking the business of just building black nationhood, brother. Malcolm X said that America's problem, America got a serious problem. And he said America's biggest problem is us, black folk. They don't want us here. Why does America have us in your eyes as the biggest problem here? I mean, in all reality, we're not really the problem. Mm. We're really the solution. But they're not going to tell us that. Because I listen to this brother, they're going to plug you in after this. They don't, they, they, they're not going to tell us that because, see, if we, if we stop following everything, we're going to automatically start thinking righteously. And they don't want that. So they got to cause confusion. They got to keep us confused in order for them to stay up top. In order for them to stay up top, they got to keep putting us down. Uh. So we're not really the problem. We're not really the problem because in all reality, you know it as well as everybody else know it. We, as black people, we built America. Absolutely. So how are we the problem? can't be the problem if we built it how we how we the problem they're not never going to tell us how we the problem but they just going to force people to think that we are the problem but we really not mm. wow 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 so what um what role does the government play and keeping us from thinking at a higher standard. They play a role as far as it's just it's just this this just boiled down to this. It's just jealousy, man. That's just exactly what it is. Cause they know that they come from us. They know that they can't dispute that. They can't get mad at that. They know they come from us. But they also know that they the weak part of us. Mm, what you mean by that? I mean, like, if you got uh, say you got a pure orange juice, right? And you wanna, and you wanna, and you wanna make a little bit more of it to spread it out among the people, you add water to it. When you add water, you diluted it. You messed it up. So what I'm saying is, in order to break the foundation of the foundation of all things in existence is the black gene, the black man. Mm. Now, when I say that, I mean like the gene was broken down from black to brown to red to yellow to albino to Caucasian. Caucasian is the weakest part of the black man. This is why they mad at us. Because they don't understand why they don't have melanin, and we do. They wow. understand the power of melanin, and they upset that they don't have it. That's the whole problem about racism. Because why would one race not like another race? We never did nothing to these people. We never did nothing to them. What we did to them? Nothing to history say that we did anything to them to hurt them besides protecting ourselves. Absolutely. We never did nothing to hurt them. They what they mad about. That's what they mad about because they lack melanin and we don't. They can't stand the sun. They mad. 
So they trying to turn, they trying to turn everything around because they want to keep us on low frequencies. As long as they keep us on low frequencies, they always gonna win. So this is why I say I love what you're doing because you your approach is different. It's not it's not uh, uh, it's not rowdy. It's not violent. It's intellect. And in order for us not even to win, because we still winning now, even though we're losing, we always gonna be winning. So we still winning regardless because we're here. So I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? But as as black people, we gotta get more intellectual. That's the only way to win. Because they scared of us if we what? If we got knowledge. So that's what we need to get. How can we get that? How can we how can black folks obtain the knowledge that we need? Because you got some black folks who would say, well, I got my degrees. I got my PhD. I'm a, you know, I, um, I, I've made, I've, I've, um, I've went to grad school. I've, I have, um, I have 14 years invested into this. So, I've, I've, I've been in school. I'm educated, so called. I'm educated. What about those folks who, who, who say that they have it? It, do they really have the true knowledge, or, or is it, um, is it knowledge of something else? It's basically now just something else. They taught us to be productive. They didn't teach us to be our great selves. They didn't teach you to be great. They taught you to be productive. A job, go to school, get a get an education so that you can work, so that you can pay taxes. They didn't tell you why they that they didn't tell you why they they want you to pay taxes so that they can live on, they can be good. But we need intellect. We need it. Without intellect, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's just gonna keep repeating. And only knowledge, uh, I'm gonna say this: only way, only knowledge that you, that we really need, we need knowledge of our true self. We what, need is, to know what is our true self? Our true self, honestly speaking, our true self is wisdom, strength, and beauty. When you when you transfer wisdom, strength, and beauty into one Greek word. Called God. They know that. They know we kings and queens, but they don't want us to find that out. Cause they buried us so much. They buried us so far down that. But honestly speaking, you can't really hide nothing. Y'all did it all this time, and now look, it's coming to light. Still, black people right now is getting more sharper, more educated, more aware. And it's sad that I got. It's sad that I gotta be like this. It really is. It's sad that I gotta be like this because, in all reality, as a whole, us going back and forth, we only messing. We only messing the planet up by doing that. If we was to not say come together, but if we was to work together, this planet to be a better place. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Carter G. Woodson wrote the book on uh, the miseduc- uh, miseducation of the Negro. But he he also wrote the book, The Education of the Negro. You know, what I'm saying, why are we as Black folks miseducated? I would say we miss, we miss, I would say this, to the best of my knowledge, I, I feel that we miseducated because one, one, when they brought us over here and they didn't, they, they stopped us from reading, writing, and all of that. So that happened for years and years and years and years. So now when they made the new books, they fixed everything up. So now education is really, is really watered down. It's an agenda. It's an agenda to keep everything flowing except us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just deep. It's just deep, man. It's just deep. Why do black why do why 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 is why do black men kill each other? 
in your eyes? Why is it so easy for us to, as black black men as a whole, I would say as black people, black women too, as a whole, it's easy for us to point that trigger at each other or a knife, whatever, make a weapon out of anything and take your life. It's easy for us to do that to each other. But to do that to another race, it's hard. I'm not saying we don't do it. I think it's a lot. I think they go through a, a thinking process before doing it. But for us, doing a, a killing each other, it's point blank. Why is that? It all come from ignorance. All come from ignorance and being distracted. Mm. See, once they once they once 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 they got us to be ignorant, now all they gotta do is keep distracting us. Now we already ignorant and they keep distracting us. That means we never gonna get intellectual. And that's why we're in the predicament that we're in now. Because we're not striving to be, we're not striving to look for no type of knowledge, no different. Like, look, once they killed Malcolm X, nobody else stepped up. Once they killed Marcus Garden, Marcus Garden, every, like, every, like, they killed everybody. It's nobody, they killed everybody to the point where nobody wants to step up. And that's, and that's sad. It's sad that we can't even be a hey. people in a place that's really ours. Wow. You can't really be yourself because somebody got a whole different agenda about you that you don't even know. You don't even know these people that don't like you. You don't even know them. And it's years and years and years and years it's like, when y'all gonna get off our neck though? Like when y'all gonna say, you know what? We had enough, we good. Y'all can live now. When y'all gonna do that? Y'all not never even gonna do that. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Y'all not gonna give us a yo, like give us a break. Give us at least two years. Can we get two years of just no racism, no nothing? Can we just like relax? We ain't gonna get that. We can't get that. Right, right. What what about what about um Economically, how can black folks build a nation, um, you know, with the economics? In other words, how can we begin to build our businesses but support our own? Why is it so hard for black folks um, not, you know, to have a lack of support for each other when it comes to businesses? I'm not saying that's all the time, but why is it so, it's just, we find it so difficult and um, the white man's food is better, the white man's grass is greener, why is that? Yo, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna have to say that. That comes from the Willie Lynch syndrome, like in order to like, break it down to slaves, like you keep, I say that because like you are, they had the old versus the young, and then they had the light versus the dark, and they had the smart versus the dumb. So that right there, automatically, it plants a competition in your head. So right. you automatically just looking at your brother, it's really your brother, looking at him because he got on some knife that you want, but you're not doing what he's doing to get it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in all reality, in, in order for things to get better, we all just gotta, we really gotta leave. We really, we really gotta leave. We, we gotta leave. We gotta leave weight, shade, white, be alone. We gotta leave all that stuff alone, like they, uh, computers, cell phones. I mean, you can get a cell phone, but use a cell phone for what it's really for. All that playing games and Facebook and doing, nah, do, use your phone for what it's really for. Right. Just call, make a call, text, you can't can't call, can't get through, and you text. That's it. Other than that, don't use your phone. And stop buying, stop buying these Nikes and all that. Stop buying. It only take one day. If, if we all stop buying this shit one day, just one day, 24 hours, things will start crashing around here. Wow. It just take one day. If we all come together and say, yo, you know what? I challenge you not to, I challenge you not to buy nothing today. 
Buy it tomorrow. Not today. Buy it tomorrow. Should have crashed. Mm. They need us. Yo, if we if, if we stay if we stay in our house for a whole week, you think it's chaos now? They won't make no money, no money. We everything, we everything, but they don't want us to know that because they did so much to hurt us that they're afraid that once we learn about them, we're gonna run them from among them. Right. They know that. They know that's going to happen because they know that what they did to us is treacherous. It's vicious. Yo, bro. It's vicious what they're doing to us, bro. And look, like, I'm going to say it affects us, but it don't affect us. It affects us because what they're doing, like the George Floyd and all that, it affects your family and stuff like that. But as a whole, as Blacks, we still strong. Right. You just gotta get smarter. And this is why I like what you're doing. Because you see, like, you letting me talk. You're not, yo, I, 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 you're not, we're not bickering. We're not, we're not, uh, uh, uh. We're not having a heated debate. You know what I mean? We're not doing none of that. We simply just conversating, and building, educating, and, 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 and enlightening each other. Right. That's what that's what people need to, to see more of. Instead of yelling and nah, they they like like you said, once y'all sit down to see me and my man just talk about something. Cause a lot of times we, we can't even talk to each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. What what no, role no. what role does the youth play in building a nation here. I guess the reason why I said nation the reason why I said nation here is I remember John John Henry Clark, he said that black people here in America, we are a nation living inside of a nation seeking a identity. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with you 100 percent because that's all facts. We built the country and we was here before these so-called natives. Like we we were the original so but um, what what role does the youth play in building our nation, at least here in America? One thing, one thing people gotta understand is that youth is upset. The youth is upset because us as old heads or as older individuals, we ain't really teach them the way they're supposed to have been taught. So. The youth, what they got, and, and, and because we didn't teach them what they're supposed to uh, be taught, they strayed away and got distracted to negativity. Mm. So, in order for the youth play the most important part, but they're the babies, they're the future. Right, y'all the future. And I, we can't do much. It's, it's up to y'all now. Y'all gotta straighten it out. And it, 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 it is sad that y'all got to straighten out what we messed up. But as family, as family go, if I, if, 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 I, if I was your nephew and you messed something up and I had the ability to fix it, of course you're going to send me in there to fix it. Right. I got the ability. So right now, you got the ability because they're young and they're strong. But mentally... A lot of the youth, is, they're already gone. They gone, but they gone because they're distracted. But it's easy to be led in the wrong direction and hard to be led in the right. Right. So this sort of the, like they say, like the hard, the, the hard, the thing that you are feeling hard to do, that's because they're the right thing to do. So what the youth got to do, they really got to just. Really just get on their reading, writing, gotta leave that leave that leave that video world alone. Leave that leave that uh leave them computer silly apps alone and use them apps that really is gonna educate you. Because what we really what we really need is education. We don't really need muscle and yelling and fighting and all that because at the end of the day, that's not gonna do nothing. Right. 
we need education. What is real education? Real education is knowing about yourself. Absolutely. Because once you know about yourself, you're going to learn about everything else because we're all connected. Absolutely. So once you learn about yourself, you're automatically going to learn about Shane Whitey and why they do what they do and why, why, why you don't do what they do. The best education is education about yourself. Don't worry about nobody else because you ain't come here with nobody else. You beat 999 of his first cells to get here. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So now once you get here, don't chill, relax. Nah, because you're going somewhere after you leave here too. You're going somewhere after you leave here. You just don't just die out. Nah. I'll listen to I'll listen to this dude named um Mark Mark Holton. Guys, deep talking about the subconscious mind and the, the, the subconscious mind and the mind. Oh, he's he, he just going in. I'm like, oh man, people don't. It, it not, not only that, too, Dave. It's certain, certain stuff that people are attracted to. They right. don't have no. They don't have no. It has nothing. It has no nothing. No life to it. Like, look, videos. They cursing. They grabbing. They crouching. Doing this. There's no. There's no education in that. No education in that. Then not only that, like you might have individuals that that that, that sound educated, that sound educated, like a homeboy, the uh, uh, Kate, uh, the Kevin dude, like yeah. you sound educated, but at the end of the day, you're not really educated. You're dealing off the emotions, right? You're dealing off the science of uh, 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 whatever you went through with your females in your life. And now you're trying to spread that poison. Right. So you're coming in the form of a snake, but you're snaking mm-hmm. your own people. That's another thing, too. We got people that's... We got our own people that's going to be like, nah, they don't want to be on the same level as us. Like, for instance, like, you know, we grew up in, we grew up in the project. So right. you know... The, you know uh, Rosedale, where the church is at. You know they made those new houses and all that. Yeah. We live worlds. We all in the same area. We all got the same zip code. But why is those people over there by the park acting like they totally different from us? We all live under. We all live in the same. We all live in the same zip code. All in the same. And we all live. We all live in the same place. We not. I mean, if we was different, we wouldn't be. We wouldn't be together. That's a fact. So it just it's a lot, it's a lot, but it takes time. It takes time because we waste we already wasted a lot of time doing what we thought was right far as like, you know, yelling and doing the riots and all that. Yeah. I don't really I don't I don't do nothing but just keep us stagnated. And it makes us look it, it, it makes it, it, it let it let them know that we still ignorant. See, they don't gotta act us. They just, they just, they just do stuff and see if we, and see if we react to it. And that's how they can tell if we still ignorant or not. Right. You know what I'm saying like it's deep, but they, I'm telling you, trust me. They, they, all they do is study. All they do is study. They don't do nothing else but study. And that's how we gotta win too. We gotta study. We gotta learn ourselves. <clears throat> because in reality, we live in we live in somebody else. We, when I say that, I mean like you are you are your you are your individual self, but what you doing day by day is stepping outside of the normal you to maybe impress somebody else or you know what I'm saying? Like right. and that's where we that's what we go wrong at. Cause it's a distraction. That's a fact. That's a fact. What about? So we talked a lot about the. So we talked a lot about the men, right? What about our women? Like, what role does our women play in helping build our nation, a black nation here in America? I ain't gonna lie, man. The female, the female play the most important part. Why I say that is because. Female is the one that's gonna connect everything. 
she the one that's going to make you see yourself again. When I say that, I mean, like, you can't put your sperm cells in a man and produce yourself. So in order for you to see yourself again, or to see yourself again, or teach yourself all over again to do it right, you need a female to bring yourself back. So she played the mother. She played the that was, that, that's crazy. <laughs> yo, Fur, you need to yo repeat that one again. Like we like they put that on rewind again. That's crazy. Nah, but it's real though. Yeah. It's real. It's real like that. For real days of yo, it's real. It's real. And it's good that people are waking up more because it leaves it leaves less bickering and debate and it's straight to the point for you right you know what I'm saying because I could have been like ah oh, you don't know what you're talking about yo man listen man I, I could have been just wanting to debate like yo just giving off negative energy right but with this right here this movement right here there's no room to even be playing like that laughing joking I mean we laugh and we joke because you know we, we got a history right you know what I'm saying but Right now, ain't no real time to be laughing and joking because they trying to kill us. And they don't care if we know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. So, Dad, you just, you, you, you dropped, you dropped the crazy. Um, so, like, my question is this. So, do you think integration has helped black people or um, has it helped us advance or did it, um, de- how can I say it? Did it push us forward or did it push us back? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, in- integration. Nah, I know we was never supposed to, I'm keeping it real, we ain't never supposed to be mixed up with these people. Absolutely. That's why we, we ain't never supposed to be mixed up with these people. That's why when they came amongst us, the Indians, they came amongst us and we taught them how to uh, 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 cook, uh, 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 farm and all that because we wanted them to hurry up and get away from us. But they didn't want to do that. They started doing all type of negative, killing the killing an Indian and raping. Come on, man. Like, really? We helped y'all. This going to show y'all we people of peace. Y'all came amongst us stranded, we helped y'all. We didn't feed y'all, we showed y'all how to make the food. We didn't make, feed y'all. We showed y'all how to cook. And then y'all spit them around and killed us. And named it Thanksgiving. Mm. <laughs> it's vicious, man. Ain't vicious. Yeah. Ain't vicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I think, man, I don't, yeah. like for me, I don't think integration helped us man i think of course it's back you can no, see yeah you can see you can see that you can see the results of it now like no. I, I think back in those times they see it they seen it as they were doing their best but looking at how through inter- integration we were supposed to be put forward first that was supposed to be for us but again, we had we were given movements. It wasn't like we started like we didn't start this like the civil rights and the NAACP. Like those were movements that was given to us, and right. we participated in it. Right. So therefore, you see these other groups coming in, whether they gays, um, Asians, his um, uh, Latinos or Hispanics, they're coming in, um, and Middle Easterns, they're coming in. And they are advancing um, past us, and we can't even get something that simple as a reparations. Not even just in the form of money, but we can't even get it in land. <laughs> they won't even give us land. Nah, you're right. You know right. what I'm saying? So I don't. I don't think that. You know, what I'm saying like I know people got like this. You know, the the, 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 the I have a dream speech, things like that. But they don't look at the other side of Martin Luther King. When he was talking about, yo, we coming to get our check. It's about reparation. And that's why, you know yeah. what I mean? And then shortly after that, he's assassinated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't yeah. think that, I, 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 me personally, I don't think that it uh, that it advanced us at all. Not one bit. Nah, nah, it didn't. 
It didn't. It didn't advance at all. In fact, it made things a little bit worse. Because now they can look at us, they, it, that racism got deep. That integration shit was not, is not, this shit, we, we're not supposed to be with them. We're supposed to be, supposed to stay segregated. At least I think that, I think that we're supposed to have to stay segregated. I don't think being with them, because that give them, that give them more, uh, 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 more, uh, more excuses to study us. Right, don't want right. them studying us. Don't want them study. That's how they. That's how they know. That's how they know what to do to hurt us now, because we allow them to come among us and study us. Right. They study us more than we study ourselves, and that's how they. That's how they know what to do to us. So we don't. We don't. Homeboy said this too. Like we don't wake out the norm. See, like, people wake up, they watch their but they team, go to work, they do the same thing every day for 25 years until they retire. They don't break that. They don't, they don't, on their day off, they don't, they just stay in the bed. They don't get up and say, oh, let me go over here. Let me go see with John. They don't do nothing. They just stay in the norm. So when you do that, your body, your, your body comes accustomed to that. And then your conscious mind thinks that it's okay to do that. And it's really not. And you're creating a, 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 a bad habit by doing that. People don't want to educate themselves now. Look how we gotta force, we gotta force them to educate themselves. Gotta make videos and yo, know, it's deep. And it's get it's getting worse. It's deep. Negativity is spreading. Word. Negativity is spreading for you. Real, like even with this with this COVID situation, is a is is a different type of racism. It's a different type. They looking at you, oh, when they, they, they don't got their mask on until they get three steps away from you and they pull their mask up. It's different. It's, yo, they, it's different. You just gotta be, you gotta, you really gotta be, you gotta be smart. But even I, even, I ain't gonna lie. People know I'm intellectual and all that, but even sometimes I just, I fall short by myself getting upset. Like, yo, I'm like, damn, nah, I don't do that. Yeah. But it's real. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, um, so how can how can black folks? Um, where can we start? If we are to if we are to become a strong nation here, and stop being so um, separ- uh, uh, separated and um, easy easily um, colonized and stuff like that of that nature. Where can we actually start? Like, if you can put a pinpoint, where can we start at so we can actually um, begin to build, so we can have that black unity? I'm not gonna lie, honestly speaking, one, it might have to be. We gotta get a leader. That's one. The leader gotta be talking right. That's two. I mean, they don't, they don't hear so much knowledge from us. It's, it's not even it's not even easy to say. They hear so much knowledge, but only thing, only thing I would say, like, only people that I know that got the real information that gives you the knowledge of your true self is the five percenters. Word, because when you when, when, when you look at 100 percent and you break it down, they go like this. 85% of the population is deaf, dumb, and blind. They do not know what's going on. 10%, they know what's going on, but they won't never tell the 85% what's going on. Because if they tell them what's going on, they won't get the money from them. Now the five percent is the ones that say, nah. Don't believe the teachers of the 10% because they're cheating y'all. Listen to what we're saying because what we're saying is actually the fact and on your own time, you can go and check it for yourself and it's still going to be right. But the 10% got the 85% looking at the 5% like they don't know what they're talking about. So the 85% stay stuck with the 10%. That's just how it goes. That's just how, that's the breakdown right there. So what happened is, the 
85% gotta find something to hold on to of some substance that's educational. And study it. Because if you don't if you don't if you don't stand for something, you're gonna fall for anything. And that's what's happening. People don't even really know their true self. That's a fact. Because they're looking up to something that they can't see and they put in their life into something that they can't see. Instead of studying yourself, knowing who you really are, and carrying that righteous individual out. Because we all righteous, that's what it's going to boil down to. All black people is already righteous. It's, it's in our DNA to be righteous. They know that. That's why they keep us confused. So what we got to do is we all got to really got to get knowledge about true self. Got to put that Christopher Columbus down and all that. Got to put all of that down because that's not really real. And analyze yourself. You got to you gotta bring it back to the foundation. Go to your mother and father. Ask yo, we are, we are, uh, we are, we are, with my grandmother, with my grandfather. So you got to know all that. Right, right. You got to know all that. Right. You just got, you just got to do a lot of studying. And it, it should be easy now because the computers and all that, everybody's studying. But see, one thing is they're not studying the right thing. They're studying what what satisfied them. Right. Nah, forget about, yo, when I got knowledge of self, my mom will tell you this. Summertime, I stayed in the house studying. That's why I noticed, that's why I noticed so well. Then I could see it, like, as I'm, as I'm trying to get it stuck in my brain so I could get a better understanding, I'm seeing this, all these words unfolding in real life right in front of me. So, you gotta study. Who, who would study. you, who would you recommend, um, who would you recommend that, 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 uh, black folk study? I think they were, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go to uh, Dr. Miles Monroe first. He the only black uh, uh, preacher or priest or motivational speaker. He talks it. He talks it well, too. Mm. You, gotta, you gotta start with him first. And you got so you got, you got, you got a couple of, you got a couple of uh, Caucasians, too. Like, I like Earl Nightingale. He tell you straight up. It's all about attitude. They see these people don't talk, they don't talk, they don't talk color. They don't talk black and white. They don't talk that. They talk straight mental. The, the, uh, the, the, the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. They don't talk black and white and all that. They don't do all that. But that's not what it's about. Other people want us to think it's like that to lower our vibration, lower, lower our frequencies to keep us stagnating. So that they can make money off of us. That's why they put the Gucci and the Louis Vuitton and the a, a, a Salvador from and all that as a distraction to throw you off. It's to make your outside look good, but your inside is not. It's not good. Right. That's what we. That's what we wrong at. That's what. It's not that we wrong, but we was taught. Is that we was taught that way, but we gotta break the cycle. We gotta break it. It, 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 it's gonna be hard, and they say, "Look, you do, you do. If you if you take a new if you take a new action and do it for 21 days, it becomes a part of your life forever until you until you break that cycle. It only take 21 days. Facts, 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 facts. So I'm gonna ask you I'm gonna ask you this last question, Ferg, and I'm gonna let you go. This is a right. crazy dope convo, by the way, brother. I appreciate your knowledge, man. Good looking, bro. My question is, is um, who is your favorite scholar and why? I'm my favorite scholar, Dave. You know why I'm my favorite scholar? Because I've been through a lot. In this, I've been through a lot in the small time that I was here. But I always, I always have respect. And I always be eager to learn. That's right. the difference. I don't, I'm not a follower. I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. Right. I want to do. 
I want to be seen and I want to be known for what I'm doing. I don't have a, I don't have a favorite scholar, but I ain't gonna lie. I have a lot of I have a lot of mentors that I look to. And not only that, I pick and choose who I listen to because a lot of people sound educated, but they just be talking what they heard from you. They ain't right. doing research. Right. It's a fact. So I don't know, it's deep. That's Baby out here. Yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Yo, that was yo, man. For once again, man, I appreciate you for the convo, man. Um, nah, you already know this. It's, it, it, I mean, and I mean, and you're right. Like the, I think education is the light that's inside of us, you know, and it's got to be brought out. And that's if right. that education ain't brought out, then you are miseducating, or you're being right. de-escalated. You know what I'm saying? You're not being, <laughs> you're not elevating yourself. That's right. And I think that it's, it's definitely all about um, elevation, man. If I if if I had to start off, man, with building a nation, I would definitely grant us our land. Give us our land. We don't. You don't even got to give us the money because we can make our own money. We want our land, right? So that we can continue to make our money. We can we can build our businesses. It shows that we didn't show that with all of the um, black neighborhoods. So we show that we can build neighborhoods. We can build community. Right. You know what I'm saying? But. When we, but like what you said, when we have distractions, you know what I'm saying, and and integration was one of those distractions. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't so that much is. that it wasn't so much that that every black didn't want to be to sit next to a white person at a dinner table. That's not every black didn't want that, but they took that and put us all into one group and said, "Yo, this is what y'all want." So we all want this, but who benefits off of it? We don't. You know what I'm saying? We don't benefit off of it. We haven't benefited off of it. We want our land. So if I could start, I would want to start out with our land first. Give us our land. We already got our our businesses. Now we can begin to educate ourselves, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I so I, I agree with you, bro. Um not that it's that we do have to do the we do have to sit down and do knowledge and actually think about it because like I said that knowledge is your education like you have to know yourself your your family line you have to know even more than your family line but other folks family lines and knowing your history I always I always think that knowing your history and every subject all across the board you be straight that's what I think you will you won't second guess nothing because you know everything is right. Nobody can tell you nothing about you because you already know where you came from. You did your own research to know that your, your great grandmother came from Zimbabwe and this, that, and the third. Wherever study you went through studying and right. learning it, it's yours. That's like I say, like school is everywhere you go, not in the Absolutely. building with books and all that. Absolutely. School, school is everywhere you go. Yep. I tell my kids that. I tell my kids that everything is everything is a school, brother. Like, like that's how that's how our ancestors became so intelligent the way that they were. You know what I'm saying? Like they they didn't have to go inside of a building just to learn. Right. Like out the the whole environment was their was their learning experience. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we so when you see them um, um, creating mathematics and creating steam, um, creating um, um, engineering and stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? Like when you see Mhotep engineering um, and, and creating the, 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 the step pyramid, this wasn't something that just came by accident. No. This is something that he actually sat down and did because the knowledge was already there. It was That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's a fact. That's the actual fact. Knowledge is there, it's just that, like you said, it's inside of us. We don't know how to look inside of us and get it out. Mm. That's why I take individuals like you and me to come to an individual and remind an individual, individual, yo, you know you, you know you great, right? Mm -hmm. Yo, what you talking about? Yo, nah, I'm talking about you great, yo. What are you talking about? Be mad. What are you talking about? I ain't great. Yo, I said you great, yo. Like, yeah. Nah, I ain't great, man. 
Not me. What? Crazy out here. That's crazy. Yo, Ferg, man, once again, man, I appreciate you for coming on. It's been long waited. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I appreciate yo, it, man. I appreciate yo, you all you do. And I appreciate all you do. I appreciate you for even holding it down. You know what I'm saying? I was getting attacked a little bit for coming at, you know what I'm saying? For just, you know, standing up for something that I strongly believe in, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Which is the sisters. You know what I yeah. mean? But um, just black people in general, not just the sisters, but I appreciate that, man. I appreciate all the love you show. But I definitely appreciate you for um, never switching up, bro. You never, you right. You was never, um, you never want, you never follow um, other folks. I remember you and P.O. being in the courts you know, yeah, playing ball and all of that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and everything, man. I remember I found out that you and Shalima was related. I never knew that. You know what I'm saying? Until when I found out, I was like, yeah. All right. Because I ain't going to front. Because when I was a kid, when I was a kid, man, I remember you and P.O. you yeah, was coming at me, right? You was like, yo, you were saying something about, I think we, I know we talking about religion. I don't remember exactly yeah. what we were saying. But then when I found out that Shalima was your sister, I was like, yeah, like I want Shalima to beat him up for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want a Shalima. Because <laughs> Shalima, you know what I mean? Shalima, you know, she's a she's a beautiful sister, dark sister, but she ain't play. Nah, she don't play. She, nah, she ain't play. So she hemmed you up. So I was like, yeah. I was like, I want her. But I was like, she ain't going to turn on her bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to Shalima, man. <laughs> Shout out to Shalima, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, first. So if you can leave, if you can leave the people with one thing, man, anything that you can say um, concerning black people moving forward, what would you, what would it be? I will say, first thing first, man, learn yourself, know yourself, so that you can love yourself. Whoa. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Yo, yo, anytime, Dave, I don't care. Anytime you want me to build, man, I got you, man. Anytime. No doubt. No doubt, Fer. Yeah, I appreciate you, brother. You already know. I love this movement, bro. No, no doubt, Word. man. No doubt, man. You're just, it'll be on, man. We're going to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? We're definitely going to keep it going. It's a lot. There's some other things I'll be trying to do behind, you know what I'm saying? Behind closed doors with like the youth yeah, and I know. everything. I yeah, right. so I'll be trying to cross it over, man. I'll be trying to cross it over. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to keep it going strong, man. I appreciate yeah. you, brother. Yeah, you I'm stay, here. Yeah, you stay safe, brother. You too, bro. 